Boom. Episode 40, uh, divisible by 10 and 4 and 2. Okay. Uh, so some cool things to look forward to in this one are fish. Uh, SpaceX, a little bit of update on what they're trying to do. That's true, um, yep. Catcher's Mitt. Catcher's Mitt is cool. Catcher's Mitt, yeah. Um, we, we wax philosophical pretty hardcore at the end, so if you want to stay tuned to the end, you'll learn a lot about um, uh, letting go to achieve enlightenment. Yeah. Secrets of Enlightenment are in this one. Yeah. And then Jeff Bezos' $42 million project. Yeah. A little bit of that. Which will uh, last for 10 billion years, what was it? 10,000. 10,000. Billion is a big jump. Well, we'll let them listen in. That's I true. I just wanted true. to give them the $42 million, that's all. <laughs> Uh, if you like what we hear, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash um, Socratic Gamers. Um, and merchandise. Uh, Shop.dogmyfire.com, pick up a tea, support. Um, we didn't kill a radio star, but the video did. Okay. So, here we go. Bang, bang, and we are back. Um, fake news, fake stuff. Fake societies. Distance yourself from fakeness. Okay. That's all. That's how we're going to start off this one. All right. So, uh, again, weekly roundup. Here we are again uh, discussing five things that we found interesting throughout the week. And uh, let's just kick it off. All right. What's yours, Vish? What's number one? Number one, uh, something that uh, Jeff Bezos. You just want to swim around this? All right. Cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. Jeff Bezos doing so his my, thing. Let me get my phone out here. Uh... Let's see, Jeff Bezos. Uh, built a forty-two million dollar mechanical clock. I believe it's called mechanical clock. Okay. Okay, random. It's like uh, it's like a clock. It's a clock that'll be there for ten thousand years. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's very, wait, wait. So the What's it made out of? Like plastic? Uh, no, no. I don't, I don't know the materials. They they figured out the materials like it's uh i mean someone here okay danny hills was the original he proposed an idea back in 95 okay uh like a 10,000 year clock a way to think of long term future okay of humanity right oh that's interesting so it's it's yeah. sort of like uh it's sort of like the hoover dam like not the hoover dam it's sort of like uh pyramids if uh yeah so yeah you know I mean? exactly. like it'll, it'll Something last that will, forever might last well 10,000 years uh, you know Oh, um, 10 days. All right. Cool, cool. Very there's cool. a plan. They got something like that. Do they know what it's made out of? Like how? Uh, yeah, I think they they figured out the materials. I don't know. I don't think they've announced the materials. Okay. But uh, I would assume it would be some sort of like plastic or oil. No? Uh, don't hit too many things. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> You're gonna just break like plastic it and oil. Or all just right. get out and swim around. All right, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. Continue. Uh, so... They're, uh, I think they're building it in Texas. Okay. It, it's some mountain. Like, they drilled into a mountain. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, so, okay, so it's going to be fortified in rock. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. that makes sense as to yeah. how it would work. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I feel that. Then it'll, uh, every, what is, uh, so they spend many, like, they're still, they, they spend a long time, like, figuring out what, what can be used. I don't think they've announced what they're using. Okay. Uh, but then it's like a, it's a 500-foot tall Mechanism. Thing. Wow, five hundred foot tall. Yeah. Mechanics. It's kind of, like it's. Uh, it, I don't know. It's. Uh, it's two thousand feet below the valley floor. Like, okay. I guess the. Uh, oh, so they're so they're really just building it underground, like. So yeah, it it's inside be. the mountain, kind of thing. So like, how are people the future so visitors? Find it? In theory, can view uh, the finished timepiece. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's like a. The to get to it is like a rough trip kind of thing. So, okay. like the nearest airport is several hours away by okay. car, and yeah. then then you got to take a rugged foot trail to the uh, oh that rises like two thousand feet. So they really just want to like hide yeah. this thing in the middle of the earth in order to uh... kind of preserve it, I guess. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. But it'll be there. Uh, so I don't think that they want they want to make it like stand out, you know, kind of like kind of like the pyramids. Mm, maybe not, not you know necessarily. I mean? Or uh, I, I guess like the, by burying it, that's how they'll be able to keep it 
like, yeah, it's saying here, longer. he's saying that here on his Twitter is like powered by day night thermal cycles. Oh, okay, okay, and then synchronized at solar noon. Uh, yeah, something, something interesting. Okay, just That's cool, just something to leave behind if anyone does find it, I guess. Right, what will right, happen right. in 10,000 years, right? It, Right, right. So it generates its energy off of natural resources, not like, yeah. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's just a clock. It's just. It's like a yeah. It's a clock. No, I, it's like it's like a Timex clock, or is it like a no no no, no like it's yeah, a like big kind mechanical of, thingy. So is it like is every it like twelve hours? I, I I it's not on this article, but I think I read where um, like every thousand years it'll be making the tick. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it'll be something like that. Yeah, you'll you'll see it. It's pretty pretty interesting when they're building it. Like there's a video they just, start, just started construction on it so okay so he's just doing this in case humanity is over yeah but it's like he's also got billions of dollars what he's gonna do with his oh, money oh okay so rich so he's basically problems. yeah well I see nothing wrong with this well, nah, what did you do this yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah I think you know it's his own money so yeah that's true and he's 42 million dollars ooh that's a lot of money but he's a billionaire I mean that's that's pretty cool though so. I, I do find I do think that's kind of cool it's like a it's sort of like the pharaohs of old, if they had built the pyramids and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they're, um, they it, it makes sense. Like you're just it's something your to legacy. to last exactly yeah, for, yeah. for humanity's purpose. I think that's probably why they built the pyramids too. It's like to leave who they were behind. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's why it's like a history time capsule. Yeah, like that's why they the, just like hidden away. Yeah, I always <laughs> thought of the pyramids. Like although they say it's like a, um, although they say it's like a uh, a, py a, a tomb. I actually kind of view the pyramids as like a t more of like a time capsule. Mm -hmm. I think that's more of what they're made for, versus like a tomb. I think maybe it was reappropriated later on as being a tomb. Yeah, you know? they kind of said that in the. Speaking of which, that's which a great is... segue. Are, are you done with yours? Yeah, yeah, I'm done with that. All right, perfect. Uh, so great segue into uh, Assassin's Creed Origins Discovery Tour. I just played it and um, I put a review out, uh, like a first impressions review. Honestly, that game is like, um, so basically they created the game, uh, and like you do like these walkthrough tours of like, um, different parts of Egyptian time period. And like, um, it was made for, <coughs> it was made for like university history students, mm -hmm. you know, to like educate them and stuff. And, uh, speaking of like Egyptian time capsules and stuff in the video game, they actually admitted that the, the pyramids have been around past Cleopatra's time. Yeah, in the game too, which is uh, surprising. That's yeah, no, yeah, yeah, ex so exactly. Might be new. Like the the is old it new paradigm. Findings? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Graham Hancock used to get like uh, ridiculed for his theory that the the pyramids were much older than we thought, and uh, then science caught up with him, and then they're like, oh, actually, they believe that like the Sphinx actually did have a lion's face, but it was carved in by the the pharaoh of the time. Like he wanted right. to like put in his like essence there mm -hmm. so like uh the pyramids could very well be like a time capsule because what they say is like within the pyramid walls like it was in his book uh it's like a history like the the pictures are like a history of uh yeah. mankind right mm -hmm. and um and when, when people say like oh it was used as like a burial grounds for like pharaohs yeah. maybe they found it and they're like oh this is the connection the afterworld will bury our people there you know what i mean like they create some sort of lore Oh, um, maybe yeah. I I think that's maybe what happened, like logically that that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, the video game like it's surprising how, it's surprising how like certain video games they're like, they have like a, a main feature, but it's their secondary feature that really sells. Like Call of Duty and Starcraft, like mm -hmm. the multiplayer is why people buy the games. They don't actually buy it for the story. You know, I I remember like old friends and like even myself. Like I I never played the Starcraft story before. I just played the online. You know. Right. Uh, and oh. that's that's how I kind of feel about uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. It's like you don't really need to uh, beat the game necessarily because I gave it a low score. But like the actual uh, discovery tour itself, like the the expansion pack, the add-on, mm -hmm. is well worth the um, the price. You know, because from like an educational point of view and like I think isn't that what the point of view created for more for education. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah, that one. But that was that's like a free download, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I think it'd be cool to see uh, Ubisoft because they're really good at recreating uh, like these ancient times, and they start doing more discovery tours. You know what I mean? Oh like, yeah, yeah. Or or, so. or they do like a that'd be pretty cool actually. I think they have a great chance of doing that because they do. 
all these things in like different time periods, right? It's, all the yeah. assassins. I it, I wouldn't be surprised if they. Oh no, I wouldn't be surprised. I really hope that they do this. Yeah. That they release all of the other video games, the the levels as like uh, discovery tours. So it's like download the discovery tour of all the past Assassin's Creed places. Right. And then you could do like little tours of like why they chose this and like mm-hmm. what's the history of this. Like I I think that was the crown jewel of uh, Assassin's Creed during its time. Like it's it's historical reference. You yeah, know, like yeah, when the first one came yeah. out, it was like they were talking about like Jerusalem and stuff, and you're like, "Whoa, I never knew these things before." And, and you're like, "Is this even real?" Et cetera, et cetera. And then you find out like, um, you know, parts of it were real, but parts of it weren't. But it'd be it'd be cool to like do discovery tours and find out like what exactly is correct in their historical um, things, just right. to educate yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I so. think it's a great tool for them. Yeah, for sure. For all people, I think like all. All like education based yeah, yeah, yeah. people, yeah. like yeah. But like I think uh, if they go in this direction, it'll be it'd be very interesting. Like they could use this tool to sell it to universities. That's what I'm thinking. Like that could be the first video game that's actually made for educational purposes. Like there has been other ones. Like they have uh, virtual reality ones where they they show you how to like um, do surgery and stuff. Right. But like for me, that's that's doesn't seem cor- like like how can you really do surgery on a person? Like maybe I guess, but like. There's so much to it, but like educational wise, like history, that makes sense. You put on a VR headset, you yeah. walk around like ancient times. Right. I bet you they're working on it. I wouldn't be surprised if they're they're. Yeah, I they think drop I that. think they'll see a huge success in this. It's just released, so. Yeah, so we'll see uh, how many people love it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about it. I love it. No, yeah, I mean, I think anyone with history buff. Or yeah, history exactly. Yeah, curious anything. about that stuff. Yeah. 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 All right. So, what's your what's your next one? My next one. Check out Discovery Tour, Assassin's Creed Origins, if you haven't already. It's sick. Yeah. Definitely worth it if you want to. If you don't want to play the game and you just want to like, um, you just want to pick up the game for that. I I would recommend it. Like that's totally worth it. Mm-hmm. Cause you cause like you you can go around the city as well. You can like once the dis- once the tour is actually done, it like it's an open world, so you can just walk around and stuff. But you can't buy anything though. There's no real interactivity. It's just like. It's more of like a history lesson. Yeah, it's, it's a history it's lesson. It's a lecture, but it's, but it's worth it's, it, though. It's cool to see with visuals and stuff. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my other one leads to back to SpaceX. Oh, SpaceX. All the SpaceX. What are they almost, doing now? every week now. Yeah. Uh, so they announced that they're going to be figuring out how to, like, capture the nose cone. Okay. Uh, after the Falcon Heavy had launched, right? And he okay. said that in the press conference. Okay. Because uh, it removes. It's like a, uh, they call it a fairings uh-huh. and they separate out once it's hit it, once it's gone into space right okay yeah, yeah. and I, I think it's all about again to reuse the same stuff like right, why yeah. waste and then you got to build it again that uh, piece of and that. that's why Maybe everything's so thing. expensive because you can't reuse it you have to do it one uh, time yeah so as many things as they can if they can reuse it's, it's a good thing for all of us right yeah, yeah for sure so they did their first test they, they did like a launch just recently with the falcon 9 okay and they did their first like trial of trying to catch the nose cone oh cool yeah and, how and do do? basically the way you catch it is uh by a big net on a boat like a That's like a glove very rudimentary i yes. would have never expected it to be like that <laughs> exactly i thought it was gonna be like reverse rockets like their other one no because there's nothing on them Right, 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 right. Right? So there's no... So they just guess the trajectory and then they catch it? It's not about guessing. it, Right? So they didn't catch this one. Okay, yeah. Uh, but they did... F- like, it was a couple hundred meters away from where the boat was. So you just got to build a bigger so, catch. Because he said in the press conference uh, before was... it may, It'll take a few months. Uh-huh. Like, in a few months, we'll figure out how to do this. So they got to figure out exactly how it's falling and where... You know, getting all the mathematics correct with all this, whatever wind is happening, so right, where right, it's right. going to go, like I all that you. kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, but the one that did fall, it seemed to be okay, even though it fell in the water. Uh huh. So I don't know if they're reusing that or like they're gonna may find other things. But like they pit- showed the picture of the boat with like a big net kind of thing. That's kind of cool. Trying to catch it, yeah. That's what it is. And he even said that too, and we weren't like sure what he meant by that. Uh huh. He just. He said it in the press conference. We just like almost need, like, like a joke. He's like, "I'm just gonna catch." Yeah, you just need, like a catcher's mitt. You just need something like big enough to catch it. Wow, with the net. it's so funny because he <laughs> says like, things that are like you're like, I don't know if he's trolling. Like what? Like yeah, but he said literally he's, you know, something like that. I think. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, but people are like, you know, I don't know, you could you, be trolling. How can you, know? you? I don't think he was trolling because it was a press conference. But it's like, no, no, no. What but do like, you mean by yeah, big net? Yeah, 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 like yeah. how? How do you do this? No, but he does like a lot of things that are very trolly. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I don't know if you're a joke. But then a lot of his trolls turn out to be real, like the flamethrower one. Yeah. 
yeah that's cool so i think like that was again that's more even more towards like trying to reuse as much for sure. as yeah. possible so uh it was a failure but again he said in a few more months they will probably figure this out nice that's really cool and it'd be cool to see it too how it's gonna like as it falling down because there's no nothing to like slow it down right so i don't know to decelerate it yeah yeah hmm. so there might be other things they might learn too as they try to catch it or you know right right, right i'm right. not sure if they're doing it every launch but yeah i wonder if they could do that with like a giant asteroid in the future uh, yeah, but you gotta like be able to no, see. No, I'm just kidding. That's not how they they, They're talking about like a <laughs> like, like a small like, enough asteroid. It wouldn't make sense for a big. No, one. it would. No, no, no. It like because I feel like it would still the impact would be too heavy. What they're uh, what they talked about for asteroids is because well, it already has so much the speed, speed that's the velocity coming behind yeah. it. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to alter it by putting rockets on the side, and then you just push it very little. Yeah, no, no, get, like even that. a small like uh, one degree will uh, push it off course from Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. allegedly, that's this one of their theories. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's pretty much it again for another l- space news. Space, space news, X. SpaceX, space news. I like it. All right, cool. Yeah, I, so I catches it was, it. Yeah, it was like a big like, boat. Okay, with cool. The goddamn so it's net like, on it. wow. So it's literally just a boat and uh, a net and a big net. Yeah, impressive. Yeah, I like I like it, Elon Musk. I'm not sure exactly the. The, how big the net is uh-huh. they didn't really say that but I do wonder but how does it reverse the impact of hitting the water because even though it's in the net you're still gonna hit the water no 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 it'll be caught in the net I know yeah but it's still yeah. gonna hit the water why or no no oh it won't hit the water oh the net's the not net's in enough the wa- to, oh I see I see it's I not see. it's like it's not in the, the net the net's not it's, in the water the net's above the water yeah 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 yeah. that's interesting what about yeah. the velocity of hitting the net will that not break the net I mean, I'm pretty sure they're thinking of these things. <laughs> That's true, but I'm like, damn, how fast, how they, strong is that? I don't know. You got to have to, uh, to the get the specifics, strength? you got to talk to someone who's uh, in that kind of field. Yeah, that's true, that's true. It's just, you know, I don't know much, the, the science behind it, but mm. if you can just catch it with the net, that's crazy. Yeah, true. So, Spe- Well, speaking of science and assumptions, um, I've been doing like a lot of research now into like, um, dog cool well, because like we have a dog and I, I like to obsessively learn about things as we get them you know yeah and like um, so I'm reading a lot about uh, new paradigms in uh, animal communication mm-hmm. and it's interesting that like the old method of thinking is like totally incorrect which is like a lot of things like uh, so basically there's like this whole uh, diverging paradise between Caesar Milan who's like the dominant alpha male dog teacher right aka the dog whisper and um, the uh, Zach George, yeah. who is the, yeah. what's up? No, no, I mean, I think he became big because of the show, and it just yeah, because of the show, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like Zach George totally game. outs him. Yeah. But like he he, he makes mentions like in his book, but he doesn't exactly like call him out. But he does call him out in a Facebook post though. Um, oh, yeah, it's very interesting. So like uh, the <laughs> old paradigm of like being the alpha to your dog. So he, he opens the book with like the reason why I like his book is because it's science based. And if you can like do things with science base, like a science basis, then I'm, right. I'm more likely to listen to you because the outcomes are going to be more likely to, um, to like present themselves, right? Yeah. Using the scientific method, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, of course, of course. So like, um, so Caesar Milan's method is like, um, he's like, you know, you're the alpha of the pack. You don't eat before you eat before it eats. You mm-hmm. can't walk it like it can't walk before you. It has to walk behind you. So like, um, like right away, Zach George is like. Uh, well, although they derived from wolves, they were actually selectively bred to not be like wolves at all. So all that pack mentality they don't even possess anymore over thousands of years. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. all those wolves that would do that um, would be kicked out of the – like they wouldn't be yeah, bred. Yeah, they wouldn't continue the Because it would be too hard for humans, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 so uh, what he says is like all dogs each have a, a purpose, right? A singular purpose depending on your dog, right? Yeah, yeah. So like – uh, there's like retriever dogs, hunter dogs, uh, worker dogs, toy dogs, mm-hmm. uh, and like each of these, like you have to you have to figure out what your dog was meant for, and then train them and treat them according to that, right? Oh, okay. Which makes sense because yeah, it's like yeah, all yeah. like the reason why we have dogs is to make our lives easier. Yeah. Right. If not even for companionship, so it's funny enough for our dog, we we lucked out unwittingly we got a toy dog which is a companion oriented dog mm-hmm. so like what they're big on is like you have to build a bond he says like all dogs need to be built a bond on like you have to build a bond with your dog right and like um just like humans like 
you they have like oxytocin releases whenever you touch them yeah. they get dopamine releases whenever you give them treats you mm-hmm. know what i mean mm-hmm. so it's like it's interesting to think of it in those terms where it's like it's like if you use realistic understandings of science then you don't need to go towards like the if i hit them they'll listen yeah you know although that does work so like what he's saying is like it's not that it doesn't work it's just it's more effective to use positive reinforcement than negative reinforcement you know what i mean like so if you yeah. well what it's interesting yeah yeah uh, right you, so so like and, and he explains it it's like if if the dog is fearful of you he's only going to listen to you because he's afraid and when he's not afraid you're screwed yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah. Like, the second he becomes not afraid of you, he's never going to listen to you again, Mm. right? So it's, like, a good example is, like, uh, if a dog, you leave and then the dog trashes your house, right? It's because he hasn't learned respect or love for you that you're not going to... Even though it sounds, like, very, like, yogic and airy-fairy, it's totally realistic. It makes sense, right? Oh, yeah. But, like, but if the dog understands you, it's like, okay, no, these are my boundaries. Like, I can't mess around Mm because, like, he's going to feed me, you know what I mean? Like, out of trust and respect, like, he, like, the dog relies on you and he's more likely to be a good dog. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, they say, like, so if you – so dogs learn off of reward and punishment, okay? But see, they – they so when you punish a dog, they get, like, a negative chemical release in their brain, oh, right? Like, don't ever do this again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dopamine release that comes about when you give them a treat is much stronger than the negative chemical. Oh, okay. okay. Right, right? So, yeah, like, yeah. if they do something right – and you give them a treat, they're getting a dopamine release. They're going to associate, if I do this again, I'll get a dopamine release. Mm-hmm. So they're going to like, mm-hmm. they're going to want to, uh, want to do it for that chemical release, even though you're not even giving them uh, like a treat anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's like classical conditioning, you know? It's funny because like we have different levels of psychology for humans, right? Yeah. And this is very like, like Pavlov's, um, Pavlov's, uh, method yeah where he like he'd like teach a dog how to salivate when he rings the bell oh i see right right yeah so it's like it's it's cool like having the dog because now you're you're working with different layers of like uh conscious understanding yeah because you can't reason with the dog you have to use all like you have to use all like in yoga they call it like the heart energy but basically that just means like you have to like you have to not think you have to just do yeah they're very like do based Oh, you know, I see, yeah. like you can't logically reason with a dog. So, like mm-hmm. if you're saying, like if you're saying, like oh, don't do that. Of course, it's not gonna understand. Don't do that. You have to like, you have to like, if like let's say he's biting you, you have to swap it out with something that he can bite. So then he he thinks in his mind like, oh, I can't oh, bite I this. See. I can bite this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The it's it's interesting. I like old paradigms and like. Um, you know, like without any, without any scientific understanding, people use like a lot of bro science. You know what I mean? But oh, it's right. like it's like, dude, this will totally work if I rub my hands together <laughs> and I like shoot it at you. You're gonna feel an energy field and you're gonna get like hurt by my key blast. Yeah. And not that I didn't believe in that. I mean, I believed in Dragon Ball Z before. Me and Brentley used to like rub our hands and try and create key balls. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. side balls and try to shoot them at shoot them at him all the time. Yeah. But then you realize like, no, it's like an electromagnetic pulse that we emanate through our, our hands mm-hmm. that we make ourselves believe we're feeling right you now i'm not a big believer in chakras like from a psychological perspective like if you look at like chakras as like um like baser animalistic thinking you know like survival uh-huh. like uh dominance th- uh-huh. these are all chakra traits yeah uh like that makes sense to me but it's like oh if you just like if you're feeling very survival oriented just open your hips <laughs> because that's where the root chakra is and the root chakra like controls survival instincts okay it's like the, i don't think that's real bro mm-hmm. like that I, like it, maybe it's real but you gotta prove it to me the science right you gotta show me the studies of like where it's happening every single time and if yeah. people are like no you gotta believe it in order for it to work that's called a placebo effect <laughs> that's not actually science yeah that's, that's, the placebo. that's so very much real <laughs> Placebo? Yeah. Yeah, that's a scientific reality. You know, no, I know, like, I know. I mean, yeah. like, but people really forget about the, uh, the idea of placebo. Yeah, they don't. Like yeah, it they, doesn't, you don't think of it normally. Yeah, we, no, we don't because we, we don't think that our minds can fool itself into thinking a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you have to – but it's funny when you take that away from somebody. You, you watch them, like, fight to, like um, – 
keep something going. Oh, you yeah. know, it's like, no, that's not correct. Mm-hmm, and then it's mm-hmm. like, no, but it is because of this. It's like, well, here's the science. No, I still don't want to believe it. Speaking of which, which is which is a great segue into our next topic. It's more of a philosophical one for this week. When is it an appropriate time to let go? So like, let go of things, let go of like paradigms. You know what I mean? Like, uh huh. Well, something you believed in, or or like... just anything like like a relationship, a thought, an idea. Like you know, thoughts and ideas are pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah. um, but like, like, y- you know how people say like we have to live presently. Yeah. Like, a lot of spiritual teachers will say, like, you have to live in the moment. You have to live presently. Okay. Right? So, if that is the case, then you have to be willing to let go at every moment. Because in the present moment, there is only what there is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, if you're, like, if you're not willing to let go of the past, then you're not actually living presently, like all the teachers would say. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, like, but that's, that's also how you should think as well. It's, like, oh, the, the earth is not flat. It's round, mm-hmm. and then if you're not living presently, then you're you're constantly holding on to a paradigm that's that's from before. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like a lot of mm-hmm. things are like that, you know. But that's speaking from a completely like psychological belief system perspective. But like, what about like even relationship ties? Like, right. I I feel like you need to be able to like let go in every moment with that too. It's like you know that old quote is like if it's not if it's not serving you, let it go. Yeah. Right. It's like. That's the only way to live fully. Mm-hmm. Because, like, why be... We only have 24 hours in a day. Why waste your time with things that you don't like anymore? Well, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you were a big teacher for me in this one. Like, uh, well, to say teacher is, like, very, like... It's very esoteric, too. It's, mm-hmm. like, you, you showed me through your actions that, like, this is the best way to be. Right. You know? Because it's, like, if it's just not great anymore, like, why do you keep doing it? Yeah. Why I, do people keep doing it? You know? It's, like... Mm-hmm. Of course, there's other, a lot of other reasons, but um, oh, right, if you here's, have here's, the opportunity here, to, to, you're to, right, you're to right. Get that, that's that. true. You're right. Because I was to say, like, if it's a family thing, you can't really let go of that because it's, like, it's just family. You gotta let go yeah, of maybe, the, yeah, the yeah, thought yeah. behind it, but you can't really let go of the family because it'll always be your family, right? Or but, like, or or kind of like change your opinion on why you're doing it. Yeah, versus for sure. being you know always being upset or suffering from this job or whatever but like you're doing this for your family or that's true for yeah, their yeah. betterment it's you know if you live it that way i would say you're gonna have a little bit more better you know wait actually, actually that's funny that you say like it's, it's all about like thought perspectives right yeah. so like people here are like yo why would you, why would i be paid five dollars a day to work in a factory right but the mm-hmm. people in china are like no this is the best job in china why would i not want to live here and work here exactly yeah. you know and it's like but it's like it's it's according to your own perspective. That's why I don't like the whole term of like, I'm gonna change the world. Because in changing the world, you're changing, you're, you're, you're pushing your own belief system onto someone else, yeah. which is what Hitler did, which is what mm-hmm. uh, like Genghis Khan did. You know what I mean? Like people right. are like, oh, we need, to, we need to change society to mm-hmm. how it should be more appropriately. It's like, no, but you're, you're, you're pushing that on me. Yeah. You know, like every other ruler. Oh yeah. You know? yeah. So maybe it's maybe it's anarchy is the way. Uh, you know, in like chaos yeah. is order, because there is no order. <laughs> you know, it's like just, just chill. Possibly, yeah, but I don't know. I think that can be misinterpreted to many things, though. Yeah, that's true too. Like, it's it's hard when you talk in like like indefinites yeah you know like you're like oh no you should be like this you should be like this even when we talk about like letting go it's it's not exactly correct it's just like you got to be guided through intuition yeah you You know it's like does it mm -hmm. it feel right yeah yeah that's i think that's the definition thing also right definition like exactly what do we mean by that not for sure so that's so you really gotta like which is funny because there's in in any one definition there's always multiple definitions Mm -hmm. because like we'll read two things and we'll interpret it differently because each person interprets things based on their past yeah yeah, exactly exactly it's like it's like when we both look at the color red right you're looking at red but from your perspective of red you're like oh it's reddish and i'm like oh no it's really red Mm -hmm. yeah but it's like it's according to what you've come up with there's no singular thing that is uh like accurate we right. can even even if we both look at the exact same thing, we're looking at it from two different angles, so yeah. it's different perspective still. You know, it's like no, I looked at it from the left side. Oh, you looked at it from the right side. Oh, it's like, like just different. You know, it's perspectives. like perspectives. Yeah, you know, and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. 
like ten thousand eyes, ten different un- ten thousand universes kind mm-hmm, of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll never um, you'll never agree upon one. But that's uh, that's why it's important to always let go because yeah. you have to. Un- yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like in letting go all the time, you're like you're like looking at something. And then mm-hmm. if he's like, no, it's it's this way, and I'm like, no, it's this way. But you have to let go and be like, all right, man, whatever you you think it is, but I think it's this way. Right. So I'm gonna follow what I think it is. That's almost how life is, you know what I mean? It's like we're all on this like journey, and it's like, at least this is how I look at life. I look at life like this. It's like I'm headed in this direction, and anybody that's also looking at the same direction as me can come along. Right. But if you're not looking at the same direction, I'm not gonna associate myself with you. Because you're just you're pulling me away from this direction. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are some. Yeah, we, but that's that's a really hard thing to do. Even saying that, it's like people are gonna be like, "Oh, let me emulate that." Eh, it's hard though, because yeah, it's, it's like you have to be willing to let go again. Yeah. Because letting go is the most pivotal part, point of that. You know what I mean? How do you look at life? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, why after? Uh, how long have we known each other? Twenty. I don't know. A long time. So I'm 20, 28 now. I don't know, like 20 plus years? 20 Pro- plus or yeah, just 20? Probably. Maybe something, like something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like little kids. So why are we still hanging out? And why are we like talking on this podcast? I, I think what we had was something that a lot of people don't. Like, we do have a lot of different opinions on things. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. But we respect each other's opinions, I think. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's uh, true. I think that's a very important. But thing that's that's the have. letting go because I'm yeah, not holding yeah. on to my opinion so tightly that I can't like let you, don't, you be in yeah, my world. Yeah, like you don't. You shouldn't make. No, 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 no. Hold on, wait, wait, no, no, no. Let, let me let me fix that actually because okay. because we are all letting go in every moment. We can do that. But if one of us is like, no, no, you're all wrong. I'm right. Then and he that, would just naturally leave. Exactly. Because that would thing, cause friction. Exactly. Amongst us. Yes, yes, yes. That's really what it is. Yeah. That's probably what adaptability is: being able to let go. So the most important thing to do oh, is yeah. let go, yeah. right? It's yeah. like, it's like, uh, oh, what's that? If there's a, if there's a obstacle, no, what? If the, like it's it's like it's like if there's something in your way, you have to realize that you are the one that's perceiving it as something in your way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like, um, if you can let go of that. Um, like perspective of like it being in your way right. and you can move freely because maybe it's not in your way anymore because you let that go mm. you know what I mean like you, you that's why it's important to always let go yeah you know, not only in your actions but in your like mindset too you know what I mean because there have been like so many people it's funny that we talk about the friction there have been so many people that have hung out with us like not just you and I but like yeah. there's there's like the select core that's always willing to let go of their own opinion and allow the other one to have their own opinion. Mm-hmm. That's why our select core is still like strong, you know. Even if we haven't seen them in a long time, it's like as soon as I see you, it's like, hey, what's up, man? Because I know how you're gonna treat me. Right. You know what I mean? But like, if um, if it, like I remember like multiple other people that were very like not open minded. Yeah. Wow. Speaking of open mindedness, that's totally what open minded is too. Like having no hold on anything. Yeah. Did we just like crack the secret of the universe right now? Like I just like oh, thinking about it. It's like no, it's all about letting go. I mean, like all the all the enlightened people said it too, like Buddha and stuff. He's like you have to let go of your own thought, whatever, whatever. And like I always thought of it like you're thinking too much. That's what he meant. Mm-hmm. But now that I think about it in this context that we're talking about, it's like no, it's really just about letting go. Yeah. You know, I mean, like uh-huh. let go of everything, mm-hmm. even your like dissatisfaction or satisfaction. Just flow. Maybe that's what flowing with life is, right? Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, I think, like, I don't know how to, like, is this, like, a necessarily, like, a new problem? Like, I, I see that, like, how the internet is creating, like, a bubble of people. Like, oh, that's true, yeah. And then we just don't know how to handle each other. We just don't know how to... Well, you, you know what it is, though? It's, like, with the internet, you can't you can't really communicate properly so yeah yeah so it's like when like i think we had an advantage over people on the internet because like the way they would talk it's like we can't see that like because there's like different levels of communication when i'm telling you that you're wrong Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i have to look at you i have to like sense your voice you know what i mean 
you have to sense my voice, but if you're written like right online, like you're wrong, then the person's just gonna be like, I'm just gonna find like people that think like me. Right. Yeah. You know, and like all these people are like, without, cause like, oh, they're just haters. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like, no, it's because you're not exactly like communicating. You think you're communicating, but you're really just typing things out and reading them. Yeah. It's, it's like a very, uh, again, rudimentary level of communication. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's also, like, nonverbal communication as well, you know? Oh, which is a different whole thing. But no, yeah. no, but, like, like even in communicating verbally, you ex- exhibit nonverbal communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you have no nonverbal cues online. So you're only, like, that's 50, just, yeah, yeah, you're only yeah. 50%. Yeah. And that's why people are getting more in peril. They're, they're getting into, like, these clusters of, like, um, groupthink. Because it's, like... It's like, okay, if this person disagrees with me, I'm just going to find somebody who agrees with me. Mm-hmm. But it's only because, like, I can't deal with pe- being told I'm wrong. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> so are we creating – is the internet creating weak people or – Uh, It depends on how you use it. It's like a tool, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. It's sort of like your mind too. Like, your mind's a tool, you know? Like, you have to know how to wield it and when not to wield it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think – I think yeah, yeah, like whenever we do like our own kind of research or something on yeah any topic. Actually, it's funny because you do that. I know I, I know what you're talking about, but I don't do that. You, you like to look at both sides. Yeah. I never do that. I'm just like I'm just gonna look at stuff that I agree with. <laughs> I'm like those people. Yeah, I'm just like ah no, because I get a headache. Because like when I listen to somebody who's like t- saying something obviously wrong, I'm like I don't really want to listen to you anymore. No, it's not more like what are they saying? I, I, it's more like if they're wrong on the other, or right on the other side. It's more like okay. Well, how were how were they coming to that conclusion? Does it make sense, right? That's, yeah, that's and true. you're looking at both sides here. Yeah, okay. And if it doesn't make sense, like that's that's generally this would happen with, I think before when you just meet normal people and you would have conversations, right? right? But you're not meeting only at work. You'd meet probably like different kinds of people, but true. Most of the time, anything like on the internet, if you're spending most time on the internet, like you're just going to meet or surround yourself with people that agree with your point of view only. For sure, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I think... Because <laughs> I'm I always think, right. I'm always right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And exactly, that's what everyone else feels it, like exactly, too. Exactly, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think it could be problematic, but there's a lot no, of, no, wait, sorry, lot sorry, of let, greatness. Okay, let, let me just people. quick pause for people who are like, oh, he's just like ignorant, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I say that. The reason why I listen to my own thing my own my things that I agree with is because I'm the biggest judge of me being incorrect. I'm always like, wait, is this right? Hold on, let me just double check this. Yeah. In my own head. But pe- I feel like people don't double check things, you know? Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like But that's that's critical thinking, right? That's what I'm saying. Like I, yeah. I critically that's why I only listen to the things that I know are correct because mm-hmm. I'm I'm like I'm already thinking in that manner where it's like just educate me. Yeah. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Because I've already thought this through. It's like, well what is the science behind this? What mm-hmm. is you know, you know it's funny when people like like when you get like the the mysticism and then the scientist and then the mystic is like like uh, you can't just always rely on science and I'm like that's how cults are built, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like okay, we're not gonna if we're not gonna like have some system in place mm-hmm. to objectively check if I'm right or wrong, yeah. Then I could just say anything, and the only way you're gonna like beat me out is through your level of charisma and getting things explained right you know if i'm more charismatic than you people are just gonna listen to me mm-hmm. right but if science is there to be like no you're wrong then then it doesn't matter how charismatic or like how however you conduct yourself yeah you'll just be wrong oh yeah that's right. why science yeah. is the great like mm-hmm. divider but that's why mystics hate it because mystics rely a lot on what you can't see and what they want you to believe oh yeah god is god is in the mountain it's like why? Because I'm wearing a robe and I have a staff. I'm telling you, God is in the mountain. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, well, where's the science? It's like mm. science is the devil. To think is actually that's funny because like in the Garden of Eden, like the, the, yeah, snake, yeah, the, the snake. That's what the Gnostics the believe. The tree of knowledge. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the Gnostics of- believe that that the God of Abraham is actually the evil one, mm. and the devil is actually the good one because Adam was like, oh, like tell me about. Um, like, I want to learn... No, it was Eve. It was Eve, right? Who ate the apple first? She's the one who wanted the knowledge, and then the snake was like, no, no, I'll, t- I'll tell you whatever you want to know. It's, it's a woman's fault. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And that's why it's a patriarchal society, and women are second class in those societies. Allegedly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's, like, mm-hmm. it's like, why is knowledge a bad thing? You know what I mean? The first, the quickest way... I think you told me this. The quickest way to become an atheist is to read the Bible. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's like it's not just me who said that, but yeah. But if you like, if you actually read it, it's it's like, you tell me what you think. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then that's that's the not letting go part because it's like, um, it's like, oh, I can't let go of my old thought because this new information is in my way. Right. Like, because I don't want to accept this new information. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, but then I guess you could say like, well couldn't that conversely work on you it's like you don't want to let go of your thought of it being incorrect Mm -hmm. it's like no i'm open to that but my answer to that is i'm open to that yeah but you have to prove it to me yeah exactly and it's like there's a difference between proving and not wanting to listen Mm because people will say like oh i I believe in this and it's like no it's not real it's like prove it to me i am proving to you but it's like no i I don't want to listen you know it's like i'm not listening to the facts Yeah. yeah 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 facts people gotta get your facts in order yeah so uh, I think that was a good. Uh, do you have anything left to say about fake news, fake things? <laughs> Honestly, like science is science is the greatest thing. Not not science. The scientific method is the greatest thing ever invented because yeah. it allowed us to critically think about issues. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, and, and like when you're like, oh, well, science doesn't have all the answers. Science doesn't actually prove anything. It just disproves things. Right. right, like science. Science is never stating things. You can only present things that disprove a scenario. That's what science does. Yeah, it's more right. like testing hypotheses. Yeah, yeah. And you might just not have the tools available to you mm-hmm. yet to prove something. Like all these people, like exactly. Oh, I'm, yeah, into, yeah. I'm into like energy balls and energy beings and like chi and like you know whatever. And it's like, sure, maybe you don't have uh, the tools ready to to measure those things, and just make the tools then. You know yeah. I mean? Like when you make the tools, <laughs> if, it, if it's so real to you, then just make the tool to prove it to yourself. Yeah. But it's like, no. But they're not the ones who are pushing that. You know what I mean? Like that's where science is. That's why there's cult leaders, man. Creating like I can float. technologies that they can test and disprove their own theories that happened before. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not willing to do that. No, that no, they're not willing to do that. It's like, but that's the letting go part. Like scientists. That's why I love scientists because they're well, some scientists. Well, they're, of course, but they're all human, right? You, they're all human, yeah, yeah. But but scientists are all about like letting go, like if it's wrong, tell me it's wrong. Yeah. You know, then I'll let go of that theory. Exactly. That's true open mindedness, right there. Yeah. Like being able to like let go of things because mm-hmm. like you're so open to your answers being cor- incorrect. You're so open that you're open to even the idea of you being wrong. Yeah, well, it's more like debate, right? It. it to the point where they end up losing. That's what that's the, the you're fighting. You're over your ideas. And yeah, true. If you can prove it, but you have to look at it not like a, a battle. You have to look at it like I'm trying to learn here. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no of course, of course. No, no, I, I know, I know. But like people who like debate and they they, they get so angry because they're like oh, I lost that debate. It's like no, no, like you learn something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's sort of like uh, jujitsu. Like if you, I mean, it's debating over facts. It's not like it's debate. Sometimes is different too, right? No, but, but, on the topic. Right, right, right. Yeah. But but even in like jujitsu, it's like. You don't lose, you learn. So it's like if I get right. choked out, it's like no, just don't do that again. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah, like, yeah. but yeah, if you're only if you're only approaching it that way, because there are people who, who want to approach it, we're like, I'm gonna win every time. Yeah. But it's like, well, then you're gonna come across somebody who's better than you, mm-hmm. just like you're gonna come across an idea that's incorrect that you think is correct. Right. 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 But if you're not willing to learn from it, then well, I don't want to talk to you, and that's why I'm going this way, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Hold a small circle or don't. It's up to you. Last words, last thoughts? No, just open your minds. Open your minds. Or keep it closed. But if you keep it closed, don't talk to me. <laughs> but if it's open, still don't talk to me. Unless I talk to you. Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, that's so dick. <laughs> no, yeah. but like, like um, re- I know you know what it is? It's realizing your self-worth and who you are allows you to go in a direction and not care if anyone else goes in your way or not. Mm-hmm. It's only when you're insecure do you try and hold on to anybody and every anyone and everything right. to help you fortify your belief in yourself. Because mm-hmm. you're so insecure that you think you're, if, if nobody believes you, then you're wrong. But the greatest artists, the greatest scientists, the greatest philosophers of all time knew that they were right despite being told they were wrong. Boom. Eat it. <laughs> okay. Till next time. Um, this is a guru. Guru. No, I don't say that. Guru, guru. <laughs> guru. That's how you say it, eh? It's not guru. 
You're like, is oh, it's, it? that's so westernized. You're like, oh, it's guru. It's guru. It's a guru. I say it. Say it for me one time. What? How do you say guru? Guru. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't... Really, it's not guru? I think it's probably different per area. I'm being freaking racist right now. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't see the racism. You see that? See? Because you're so open-minded <laughs> to... <laughs> okay. Until next time. Stay hungry. Stay cute. That's what I say whenever I do a walk there. Oh, yeah? Know, yeah? Yeah. What do you say? Uh, just take it easy. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Until next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye.